Hey guys, Andrew here with Aloha Quails, and today I'm going to talk about the IDGAF method of incubating. Um, IDGAF, uh, if you don't know what it means, it's I don't give a fish um, or substitute any other four letter F word you can think of. Um, for people that buy eggs, it's probably not the best idea. If you have a bunch of quails that are producing eggs and you're just hatching for the sake of hatching, um, or if you're just sort of replacing older quails, um, this is definitely the way to do it. It's the stress-free method, and it's the way I like to do it. Um, I have two of these incubators, which allows me to incubate over 200 eggs at a time. Um, so I like to use the IDGAF method. Um, and essentially what it is is set and forget. So I've got my incubator set up I plugged it in yesterday um, my temperature is correct already once you've set these as long as you tighten everything up and you don't knock them around it's a one-time set just a quick thing what I did with my hover beta incubator is they do a fan kit for this is about 40 bucks um, I just bought a computer fan that has a 110 outlet and what I did was I used an ice pick, poked a couple of holes in here to put the screws through. It's a little bit bigger than the fan that goes in. Um, if you buy the pre proper made fan, uh, this is quieter and it is cheaper. It was only $15 as opposed to I think $40 to $50. Um, so pop your lid off. Your humidity, I know what mine is already, so I've got to fill channels two and three and that'll give me the correct humidity uh, up until day 14 for lockdown. And again, when setting the humidity for your incubator it's the amount of surface area not the amount of water in that half an inch of water gives you the same amount of humidity as one inch deep water as long as the surface area is the same then you're going to take your egg turner um, you can see right here I have two of my channels that I've taken out. So I've taken out a channel here and a channel here uh, and the reason I did that is my eggs are a little bit larger and if I have them close they press into each other and it'll crack the eggs so by taking out a couple of the channels um, yes I lose incubator space but what I do is I stop my eggs cracking and my jumbo eggs are more likely to last through the incubation you pop this in your incubator you take your secondary thermometer um, as I said, this, this is set and forget. I'm actually not going to check this for 14 days. Uh, this is more just a force of habit thing. And you put that in there. And then you go ahead and you put your lid back on. I've got my temperature probe right here. It goes inside. It's magnetic, so it sticks up here. Make sure you've got a nice good seal all the way around. I have two cables coming out now, one for the egg turner, one for the fan, my power cable for my heat element, and that's it. I'm gonna leave this alone. Uh, in 14 days, I'm gonna come back to this. I am going to fill up channels one, two, and three. Uh, that works for me for lockdown. I'm gonna take my egg turner out, put my eggs straight on the plastic tray inside, and then I'm gonna walk away for three to four days, come back and check it, and we'll have quail popcorn. Um, you know, from 100 eggs I just put in there, I'll get a hatch rate. We're using this method of about 70 to 75%. If I constantly check the humidity and keep uh, adjusting it by adding water every couple of days, um, I can probably take that up to about 90, 95%. These are my own eggs, I didn't pay for them. Um, you know, I think I worked it out one time that a quail egg cost me about three and a half cents each uh, from my quail incubating. Um, I think it worked out that I, I basically I leave this plugged in year round. It cost me $112 uh, to run my incubator, my fan, my egg turners, both of them together all year round. I'm off grid. Um, I don't pay for electricity anymore. So this is the IDGAF method. Again, it stands for I don't give a fish. Substitute a four letter word if you want to. And 
it's the method that I've been using um, for my own eggs and it works great for me. If you have any questions about incubating your quail eggs, um, if you have hover beta questions, I love these incubators for the price. Um, throw them in the comments below. If you have questions about pretty much anything quail related um, or just random questions about Hawaii, we seem to be getting a lot of those recently. Um, throw them down there as well. Don't forget to hit the like button if you want to be notified when you can see our next video hit subscribe next to it there's a little picture of a bell that appears click that too and it'll pop up on uh, your news feed every time we make a video if you guys again thanks for watching um you know we do appreciate it and uh, have a good day guys